Hello booktube, it's Andrea and I'm here with my May wrap up. I read six books in May which isn't too bad because it is really difficult to read while you're dealing with a baby. Um, so let's uh, go through them very quickly. So the first book I read was Lisa Gardner's Hide. This basically is the story of um, a girl who when she's like I want to say six or seven her father is convinced that somebody is going to try and snatch her so he takes his family and they run away and live under assumed names and every year or so they keep moving away. Eventually she's grown up, her father's died, her mother's died and she's on her own and she's settled in Boston which is one of the towns where they used to live and she finds out that the person who was stalking her back in the day is now back or is he? It's very confusing. So basically what happens is um, the policeman they find in the abandoned grounds of an abandoned asylum uh, a tomb that contains six bodies one of which is one of Annabelle's that's the name of the girl her t her childhood friends um, and she gave her friend a necklace with the name Annabelle on it and that's how they know it's her because it, it was a specific type of necklace um, so now Annabelle is convinced that um, this person's coming after her uh, so they're trying to find out who it is basically it's a really good book I really enjoyed that and then I read book three in the Vinyl Detective series by Andrew Cartmel this one is called Victory Disc and in this one they are trying to track down a certain swing band records from the Second World War by an orchestra called the Flare Path Orchestra. Um, it's the daughter of the band leader who's trying to track down these records because she wants to build a museum for him. Also she's trying to increase uh, the value of his estate um, because he was also a children's author and she wants to go into the American market and turn him into sort of like an um, Enid Blyton type figure. Uh, so again there's the usual mayhem, mayhem and mishaps where they uh, end up trying to get killed, <laughs> they always end up getting killed, uh, try, you know, almost killed, so it says badges, bombers, bodies in beer barrels and murder to a big band beat. Unput Danville and that's Ben Aranovich. It's a really really good book, a nice one to add the addition to the series, the only problem is now we've got to wait a whole year for book four. Ugh. Third book was Doris Day by Eric Braun, this is a small fan based book biography and that is the only problem with it is it's as it's a fan based one it's not a huge biography there's not a lot of detail in it I would like a really chunky biography on Doris Day with a lot more information but it was still really nice to read it was a good read Stephen King book of the month I read Finders Keepers because the book they were reading this month is one I read last year I think it was Firestarter. I'm sure it was Firestarter this month. Um, so this is book two in the Bill Hodges trilogy. So in book one he called the Mercedes Killer. In this book it still follows on from that in the fact that one of the people involved was his father was a victim of the, the Mercedes Killer. Although he wasn't killed he was seriously injured. Um, basically the main character at the beginning of the book Morris Bellamy goes to an author's house, the author's name is John Rothstein and he wants, basically they go to rob him, there's three of them but he's more interested in any hidden writing because John Rothstein has withdrawn from view, he doesn't want to be in the public eye anymore so this guy goes to see if he's actually secretly read, written anything else because he wrote a trilogy of books that this man really loved apart from the last one where he felt he sold out and he feels there should be more and it turns out that John Martin did write more in the series but he's never had it published it's sitting in his safe so Morris uh, and his cohort steal I think it's $22,000 and, and and the notebooks and then they kill the author they leave and then Morris kills his two cohorts and buries the trunk in the woods behind his house However, that night he gets arrested for various crimes, including uh, aggravated, like a really bad rape, and he gets sent down for life. Um, his mother sells the house that she lived in, and then uh, Pete Sorbers and his family move in, and his father was brutally injured by the Mercedes. He discovers the buried trunk with the cash and, and the, the notebooks in it, and his family go through a rough time financially so he starts sending the money that's in the, the trunks in about $500 increments in um, envelopes to his family. He 
post them at various places around the city. And then in 2014, Morris is released from prison um, and he's coming back from the trunk. And can Bill Hodges still save Pete Zorbers before it's too late? No, that's what we need to know. Book five was Birdsong by Sebastian Falks. Now I bought this a while back because Newport Playgoers did this, um, I think it was last season. And I went to see it and while I enjoyed the play, the book is so much better. It's like the whole movie thing, usually, but not always the book is better. And there were bits that were missing from the play that are in here, which makes it so much better. So I did enjoy that. In fact, I cried at the end, it was very sad. And finally, I read book five in the Cardiff Bay Murder Mystery series by Wally Lee, Never Dead. Um, in this time, um, a man who's murdered on a Cardiff train, an elderly man, he has been catching the train for a week because his granddaughter, who was adopted out when she was a baby, is on that train and he wants her in his life. Um, there's people trafficking, um, refugees, a, a murdered Somali child um, who was discovered some 11 years previously in Roth Park and DCI Phelps and his team are working on various cases. He's working on the old case and his former DI is now working on that. He's been promoted to DI with DS. Um, is working on the murdered man and the cases are linked and it tells you all about how it works. I've loved this series. Now this one came out in 2014. There hasn't been a book since so I do wonder what's happened there. It's a shame because these are really good and the way this book ends suggests that there would be more so I don't know what happened whether something happened to the author or, or I just don't know. So those are the six books I read. I am halfway through reading a book on Marilyn Monroe at the moment and I still haven't finished the other one. I was going to do an on-camera pulling out of the, oh dear, what's it called? The TBR job, but I forgot and it's upstairs. So I'm not going to do that this month. I'm going to give it a rest this month and just read what I can. And then maybe next month, if I get through a few, I'll, I'll carry on with that. So yeah, I'm, I'm very tired. It's very hot here at the moment in the UK and I am not good with the heat. I really hate being hot. So I'm sitting in my living room where it's cool. Baby's in a little car seat buggy thing asleep at the moment lucky thing I wish I was no she's fine she's all cute and cuddled up so she's quiet and that's about it really so I am um, for those of you who like my colouring videos just haven't had chance to sit down and do some colouring at the moment I'm going to try and get a colouring video up in the next week I keep saying that and it just doesn't happen um because Jennifer now is sleeping all night so she's awake a lot during the day so of course I'm spending all my time during the day with her and when she's asleep during the day I'm doing my little jobs around the house so um I'm not getting very far with it so I might try and do some colouring maybe tomorrow because Paul can have her for an hour while I go and do some but that's it for now I'll see you all soon I hope you're reading lots of great stuff I will be uh, commenting on your booktube videos when I can and I hope to see you all soon bye